Hey y'all, Kentucky Farmer here, and today I am here in my test game, and I'm going to do a quick uh, GPS mod tutorial. So, in my Let's Play series, I use GPS mod quite a bit. Uh, I also use it in conjunction with uh, course play. To me, the, the two mods kind of serve different purposes. Um, I really enjoy using GPS mod if I'm going to actually be driving the tractor, right? Uh, it, it really helps to uh, maintain lane position and it helps optimize uh, your field coverage for the width of your implement so that you're not overlapping too much or constantly missing areas and having to go back and touch it up. And really, I mean, it's, it's, it's a quick, easy mod to set up. Uh, once you have it installed, which it installs just like any other mod, once you've got it installed on my computer, all I do to bring it up is um, left control and then zero opens and closes it. And uh, sorry, zero on the number pad. So left control and zero on the number pad. And then the decimal on the number pad changes the display side. So you can do display off or minimal or uh, advance, which has the buttons that you can then use. And, um, you know, I, I've talked about this before, but I really feel like using GPS mod is in keeping with the spirit of the game. Uh, if you look at this tractor, there's a little white box there on the roof. That's actually a GPS receiver. And uh, many modern tractors have this ability to use GPS to uh, monitor and maintain lane position. Uh, it, it differs from course play in the sense that there there is a in the advanced area we'll get into some of the auto turning, uh, but you have to stay in the tractor, right? Like if you get out of the tractor, it won't work, um, and it, it's not meant to be a completely hands off automated solution like course play is, or even for that matter, a hired worker. So to get started, uh, the basics of it is, uh, you know, we opened it up and uh, if you've ever used it on that tractor before, it kind of remembers what your settings are. So in order to actually interface with that panel on the left hand side, we have to hold down control. And now my mouse cursor comes up and I can come over here and I can click new. And new is basically gonna set the default width from the front of the tractor towards the field, right? Uh, if I were to come start up my tractor here, if I were to come over a little bit further like this, you know, I could hit new again. And you see now it's again off the center of the tractor. Uh, if for some reason, you know, it was facing the wrong direction or remembered the previous like width of whatever it was you were doing before, you just click new and it defaults it right back to this. So once you've got this set and it's pointing at the field, right? Then the next thing I usually do is I set my width. Well, so I've got my implement here and I can auto detect that. Now, if you notice, one of the things it did here is because this is a trailed implement and I'm crooked, it auto detected this um, offset. And my width may not actually be correct. It may be auto detecting it wider than it should be because I'm crooked. So, uh, and if we look here, let's see our width is currently 9.6. If we look in the store at that cedar, it's a nine meter cedar. So yeah, see it detected it too wide because I'm crooked. So what you can do is you can kind of come and straighten out. So now I'm, I'm quite a bit straighter pointed at the field. And again, I'll click new and then auto. So now we're at nine meters and it got rid of the offset, right? So now that we're at nine meters and our offset's gone because we straightened out, we can use course set to actually position the course on the field. Because if we were to go right now, we would actually be overlapping the grass here by a couple of meters. 
And so you can use these two to shift. And so we're gonna shift the lane over like that. So now we're running right on the edge. And another thing you can do if you want, um, you know, di different implements behave differently. So even though this detected at nine meters, you can always come in here and like bump that down a little bit. And that'll just get you a little bit more overlap um, on each lane so that you don't have to worry about accidentally missing some areas. I, I like to do that. Not every piece of equipment needs it, but you know, this is a pretty big planter being trailed. And so sometimes it, uh, it, it could benefit from a little bit of overlap like that. So now that we've got that set up, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is kind of just get myself centered on this. And I'm going to go ahead and unfold my cedar. And I'm going to plant grass on here. I want to turn this into a hay field. So now I've already got grass selected, so I can go ahead and turn on my cedar and lower it. Now the next thing we want to do is we actually want to lock onto the course. So this is active passive. Right now it's passive in the sense that it's showing you where you should be driving, but it's not actually going to control the tractor, right? So if we put it into active mode, you see those three lines show up there on the actual GPS signal. Now my steering is actually going to be controlled by GPS mod. So all I have to do now is press the gas pedal and GPS mod is going to handle steering my tractor and keeping me perfectly centered in that line. So I don't have to steer at all. I can actually, you know, look around and you know, not really have to pay attention to my position because GPS mod's controlling it for me. Now if you heard that it beeped twice, that means you're approaching the end of the field. So you should slow down and get ready. And so now we're here at the end, so I'm going to lift my cedar and like if I nudge my steering wheel see it just pushes me back to the center because it wants me to stay locked on if I nudge it harder see it just disengaged there so now I can control the steering of the tractor so now I'm going to steer around here and I'm going to get lined up with this one and then I can lock back on again and now all I have to do is press the gas pedal and drive forward and I'll set down my cedar and then I'll keep going. So there we've got just a, a little bit of offset or a little bit of overlap there and we're making nice perfectly straight rows. See so it beeped again because we're getting to the end of the field. So I'm going to lift it up and then disengage it by hitting my steering wheel and then I can turn and get ready to get on here. Now, the other interesting thing you can do, this is a pretty short field so you don't really notice it, right? But if I engage this, I can then set GPS field end mode. And what this will do is it will automatically stop the tractor when it gets to the end of the field. So now that I'm locked on, I can actually engage my cruise control. And now I don't have to do anything. I'm not steering, I'm not, oops. <laughs> Let me get back here. I forgot to put the planter down. I get distracted. All right, so I'll put the planter down. And now I'll turn on my cruise control. So now I'm not steering. I'm not holding down on the gas. I'm not doing anything. It's all driving itself completely automated and it will keep going until it gets to the end of the field. If you see there's this little uh, counter right here counting down and there I'm at the end of the field so it's automatically gonna stop and now it's just gonna sit there until I do something. So I'm gonna keep driving forward, finish the field, lift my cedar, disengage, make my turn, And then I can lock on again and set down my cedar, turn on my cruise control, and away it goes. Oh, 
nice and easy. So it's going to beep, tell me I'm at the end, it's going to come to a stop, and then I can finish this a little bit here, lift this up, disengage, come back around, get lined up, and I can set that down and lock on. Now there's one other thing we can do here. So this also has a um, auto turn function if you click this again and you can tell it to auto turn left or right when it gets to the end of the field. And that's a little more advanced and I'm going to go ahead and cover that later. So that's the basics of it. Now, let's go ahead and actually I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to lift it up. I want to show you something else here. So, on this field over here, you see how it's got this angled edge to it? Uh, it's planted in grass, so it's a little hard to tell. But it's actually, this field here has an angle on this side. If you wanted to use GPS mod and actually follow that angle, well then what you could do is come over here and hit new. You see there's the angle, but this is actually going, you know, cardinal direction east west. You have these uh, rotate course options where you can rotate the course to kind of follow that angle. And then we're going to bump it over. Not quite there. There we go. That looks pretty good right there. So now it's following the angle. So now you could actually go back and forth and you can plant this whole field at that angle instead of going strictly east, west, or north, south. The other option that you have is say we make a new course. You see here we're going east, west. Well, if you actually want your course to go north, south, you can just hit the 90 degree button and it just rotates your course exactly 90 degrees. So again, you got left, right, 90 angle left, angle right. Uh, if you are using a piece of equipment that has an offset to it and you wanted to offset to the left or right, that's what this option here does. So again, like I was showing earlier, if we, you know, if we're not straight when we auto detect, it's going to automatically detect an offset in there. That one's pretty extreme, right? It's all the way over there. This button here will zero your offset and then this will allow you to add or subtract offset. So that one's adding it to the right. This is subtracting it to the left. And then you can reverse your offset or you can automate offset reversal, which if you're auto turning, this will automatically offset or automatically reverse your offset every time it goes back and forth on the field. So with this button here, if you were running with an offset, um, there's a couple plows and some hay equipment and stuff like that that uses offsets. Um, when you are manually drive, well, using GPS to drive back and forth on the course, every time you turn, you can use this to change your offset say you're using like a moco mower and you wanted to actually switch it right left right left while you're going you could then automatically switch the amount of offset every time you switch the mower and then this would automatically do the same thing every time you go back and forth if you were in auto turn mode all right so that's the basics of using gps mod uh, should be enough to get you started. In the next episode, I'm going to cover some of the more advanced topics, including uh, auto turns. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more Farming Simulator videos. I'm Kentucky Farmer. Thanks for watching.